Hi, howdy, welcome back. It's been a little bit. You can't tell by the title of today's video. We are going to be looking at a Sigma package I received, mostly the brushes, okay? But first, if this is your first time here, feel free to reach down and hit like. If this is not your first time here, feel free to reach down and subscribe, then like, either or. Oh, sorry, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Heartburn, eight months pregnant, and I feel like I'm just gurgling up nonstop acid. It sucks. Ooh. Okay, and without further ado, we've got our Sigma Deluxe Blending Brush Set. Nine detail standard and max brushes. We've got a blending, a max blending, a detail blending, a diffuse crease, a tapered blending, a max tapered blending, a small tapered blending, a max small tapered blending, and a medium tapered blending. Now, according to this, it is an exclusive synthetic antimicrobial fiber engineered to better hold and apply and blend products. Patented interlocking furals with double thread engineering for incredible strength and durability. And then solid polymer based handles are waterproof. Outlast all product formulas and frequent brush care. Let's see, it's supposed to be extra soft. Two year warranty on the brushes. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Keep out of the reach of children, no kidding. Sigma quality function innovation. Ultra soft synthetic Sigma tech and Sig Max fibers. So that means no animals. It is a clean beauty. It is a vegan beauty. It is PETA approved, cruelty free beauty. Sounds pretty good. These are our brushes. I have been curious about these brushes for ages, but they are so flippin' expensive. I was like, no, no. And then they actually had a sale I could afford, and I was like, okay, let's try them. E25 Max Blending Brush. Okay, it is soft. I'm not gonna lie, but is it softer than this one? Yeah. Okay. Got this at Target. It's a brand called Sonia Kushek. And then this is the Sigma. They feel pretty much the same. Although the Sigma, trust me. Although the Sigma, trust me, it's definitely a higher price point. The Sonia from Target, I actually really enjoy. It applies makeup beautifully. Oop. And um, I can pick up more. That is soft though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm curious to see how well they deliver the product. Ooh. Yes, I know, weird. It's not soft on the nose, it ain't soft. A lot of nerve endings in the nose, believe it or not. That is really soft. I'm not gonna lie, I've invested in a couple sets of brushes lately. I'd like to try some of the way expensive ones, but they're, as you can tell, way expensive. Just for grins and giggles. I know I have some makeup in here that I have not had a chance yet to play with or show you guys. One sec. So I might as well pull it out and use the brush on it and give it a whirl. Large. Everything is large right now. Elf. Elf hot jalapeno. Mm. 
this is also a cruelty free and vegan company. Um, I have a couple of Sigma palettes. I really want to demo for you guys, but bam, I'm gonna save those for a different video. Just because my battery's getting kind of low. Okay, Elf. It's like a three dollar quad, four dollar quad, somewhere in there. Let's give a go at trying out our beautiful brushes and see how they perform. Oh my god, my eyes hurt. I did the Jeffree Star Pink Religion video. I did the Concrete Minerals video. And let me tell you that Concrete Minerals um, primer is not a joke. It's there to stay. Whatever you're putting on with that stuff does not want to come off. I thought the Too Faces 24 Hour Shadow Insurance was hardcore. Oh baby, trust me, I did not know hardcore till that crap. I may have to do a video comparing uh, my preferred primers, actually. Because I, I think I'm up to like three. I wasn't a big fan of the Smashbox. I mean, in a pinch it'll work, but whatever. Okay. Elf. Hot jalapeno. <sighs> Baby shark. I'm going to let you guess what my son's been watching lately. That's right. Baby shark. The eternal baby shark. Let's start off in our metallic green. Hmm. This metallic does not want to be used with a brush. Interesting. Any of you that have watched me enough, you know I hate putting my fingers in makeup. And yet, here we are. While we're at it, let's just try the green on the other eye. Not even the metallic, just green green. My brush doesn't perform terribly, it doesn't perform great, it's just, it's there. So in the future, would I spend full price on this? No, probably not. And I dropped the brush. Really pretty green. I'll have to do a review on this later. Okay, we've been using that one. Let's try a Sonia cushion. I've got plenty of her brushes for a reason. Let's see if the green works any better on hers. Ooh, it does. Okay, just out of Grinzinka Ghost, let's dip this into the gold with the Sonia. Nope, the Elf Metallic is a D bag. It does not like to go on except via finger. Let me tell you something putting my finger in friggin' eye makeup gets old.
There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Hmm. Not enjoying the metallics on this one. Hop and jalapeno. It is lackluster, to say the least. Okay, let's try an interesting test. We've got the little one by Sigma. Let's try the darkest shade in there. Okay, there's no problem applying the mats. Doesn't feel bad. It's going on in a fairly precise way. Okay. I don't think it's the brush's fault at this point. I think it's about equal with the Sonia Koshnik. It's just, the elf is not performing wonderfully. To be fair, it looks like a $3 quad, $4 quad. So, you know, I wasn't looking for uh, the greatest. I was just looking for something. The colors are actually not terrible. I'm enjoying the colors in this quad. It's just not what I would call a great blending. A great, uh, yeah, no application, nothing here on this. Okay. Okay. The olive greens are working. Okay, what are you guys' opinions? Have you guys ever tried the Sigma brushes? Would you call them equal to the Sonya ones? Or have you found dupes for the Sigma that are not what I've found? Uh, just for grins and googles. Shuts you in the center of the eye. The gold. In the center of... That comes out looking pretty. I don't dislike the color story. Little questionable on the formula. The brushes are performing pretty well. I would call them equal to the Target ones I got. Weirdly, the Target ones were not bottom of the barrel dirt cheap. I was so excited to get these Sigma brushes just to try them out. Um, unfortunately, I'm starting to think I'm gonna need a bigger a bigger uh, brush cup. <sighs> That's okay. Not terrible. I like the brushes. Uh, I think I probably should have followed the direction and I said to wash them first. I think that might be why they're not picking up as much formulation. However, the standard ones that I usually use from Target didn't pick up the formulation all that well either. So I'm going to keep playing with this and then do a review in a couple days after I've played with this for a while and give you guys my honest feedback on this one because e.l.f. is actually a pretty affordable brand. You can get it at Walgreens, you can get it at Walmart, Target, you know, Myers. It is something just about everybody can afford. It's not a bougie number, but if it's got some tricks, it is good to share those. Okay. Okay. Now the last thing I want to show you guys from my Sigma box Okay, I will be doing reviews on these. Next, I got these from Sigma and I was a little surprised to discover they now have nine pound shadow palettes. That's wonderful. I also intend to do a review on this brand too. Reina Rebelde, it is a Latino brand, Latinx. What is the appropriate terminology? I'm not certain. I think it's Latinx. Learning. But this is what I got free in my Sigma box. Now this was my free sampler. Liquid lipstick and the shade Venom. And Sigma is one of those ones where I enjoy the quality of the uh, eyeshadow. Never tried the lipstick though. Ooh, 
Ooh, that is red. Just keep in mind, I am not the greatest at applying liquid lipsticks. I'm still working out the details. But this one doesn't go on too badly. Mm. I need to do a video comparing all of my liquid lipsticks. Pat McGrath, Jeffree Star, apparently the Sigma one, because this is not a bad formula. But it stays tacky. Like, it's definitely tacky. It does not dry down. I'm going to bet it does not dry the lips as much either. I guess we will find out. But actually, I like this color. Like, a lot. I might point out some of the acne. We're going to ignore that. I like the color. Okay, guys. Have you guys ever tried Sigma? Do you like their brushes? Would you call them comparable to somewhere else? Do you think you can dupe it? What about the lipstick? What do you think? Think it's too red? Too vampy? Give me some feedback, guys. Let me know. I'm looking forward to my next videos because I... I'm going to play with this one a little more and talk to you about it. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments. Let me know what your experiences have been. Okay, guys. Be safe. As we say at the end of this video, remember, be safe. COVID is still out there. The new Delta variant is on the rise in the U.S., accounting for more than 90% of all new COVID cases. So be careful. Wear a mask, social distance, wash your hands. If you believe in them, get a vaccination. Okay? Just be careful. Don't hurt. Don't, don't risk yourself. It's not worth it. Trust me. I spent a month bringing up blood out of my lungs. I have a third of my lung capacity that is now basically decimated and scar tissue. Take it seriously. Okay? It sucks. Thanks. Have a good one.